Now we're joined by certified life coach and storyteller Aremo Olaleko Oluwatobi, who is driven by his passion for love and relationships and people. And he's here to talk about the little things that matter in modern relationships. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Good to have you join us. Uh, relationships, it seems like uh, they undergo greater stresses. <laughs> Well, and pressure in the 21st mm -hmm. century, I guess maybe because of all the things that are happening around us, social mm -hmm. media, yeah, yeah. Uh, just exposure to way too much information than mm -hmm. our parents did. Yeah. But yeah, so the little things that matter, what's, what, what should we be focusing on and what, what should we be looking at? Okay, so um, I believe that relationships don't have to be stressful, mm. even despite the information overload and exposure to many things. Um, but at times, because of information um, and because of exposure to the kind of knowledge we have mm. we find out that relationships can become stressful so little things that matter we focusing on some little things that seemingly do not count but in the long run have great impact on the relationship mm. say for example now this may sound old-fashioned say writing of notes okay love notes mm. okay and i know that i'm um, growing up um Back in the days, we used to have notes passed in class. Mm -hmm. You know, a boy, by, by the time he's coming, a boy will pass a note <laughs> Write to a little note and pass yeah. it, yeah. And even though it was little then, it made sense mm. to us then. So as we grow, that culture seemed to, we, we felt it's childish. But truth is, even with working relationships and marriage, you find out that if you can, from time to time, just write a note somewhere, in your partner's purse, wallet, let them not know, let them just find it during the day, mm. a little I love you note can work magic. Okay, it's little, but the truth is, it will put a smile on the face of that partner through the day. Mm. And like you mentioned, you know, there's a lot of social media exposure these days. Now, another thing that I believe that works, that is little, but you can walk into your day, is if you find posts that you find funny, or that you think that your partner will like, tag, the partner mm. or you know there's some posts that there's a question they're asking and um, tag somebody you love and sometimes tag your partner and say something online it may look little too but the truth is if the partner gets the notification it shows that you have them in mind through the day despite your busy day and all that so the purpose essentially is is um showing people that you have them in mind yes throughout people, the day. yes yes and that, that because that is key one of the critical points of relationship is communication mm. most times. And when you find, when you break down um, issues that, and stress that relationships have, it's always usually boils down to not being able to communicate as, to ourselves properly. Mm. So if you can create a system that is not too large, too big deal, a deal, in the small things, it will make, it will make it, it will go a long way. You know, um, I mean, it's been said before that little foxes spoil the van, yeah. uh, vine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that in relationships, a lot of times it's not even the big things that, that cause stress. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it can be little things, something somebody said, uh, something somebody did or yeah. didn't do yeah. that, that causes uh, some stress and even um, irritation within, within uh, relationships. How do you ensure, for instance, that uh, when you see these little things that uh, are going the wrong way, how do you deal with them again in a relationship to okay. ensure that it's strengthened? All right. So like I mentioned, they are little, so most times they can be missed mm. because they are little. Say, for example, um, a lady walks in and says she's upset with you. What did I do? Why are you upset? I'm upset now. She's not saying why she's upset, and she's saying you're upset. Now, the guy can be like, you're not telling me anything, I beg, find your way. Or he can see it as if she's telling me she's upset. It means that she wants me to hear her. So as much as she's upset, she still needs me to listen to her. So when he sees from the angle, he's able to make a joke out of it, not laugh at her, make, you know, make the environment light and they can go from there because eventually you need to know what, what has gone wrong. Mm. Okay, so when you notice, so little things can be, they are easily missed. They can be missed here and there. So when you notice, the first key is identifying it. When it can be identified, 
Now, the question is, what exactly does my partner want to do? Because relationship really is about sacrifices in the long run. Okay, so, so I've noticed that every time I don't tell you I love you in the morning, every time I notice that you don't wake up to my text message, mm. it upsets you. So what do I do? If I have to set an alarm, I set an alarm to ensure that every morning when I wake up, I send you a love text message. So at the end of the day, it sort of comes down to um, communication, ensuring that um, each person within that relationship mm -hmm. understand what the other person wants. Yes, right? it's key, it's key. Knowing, because what I want personally may be different from what she wants. So knowing what she wants and how she wants it, mm. okay? So somebody might like you to sing for them, mm. maybe on their birthdays. Somebody else might like you to send them gifts. Now, if you are giving the person that likes you singing to them gifts, they may appreciate it, but it doesn't eat them as much as if you come with a guitar and you sing to them. Mm. So knowing what this person wants and knowing how they want it is also key. And thanks to, to um, Gary Chapman, the author of Love Language, the Love Language book, he talks about five love languages that generally people you know, have. So when you can know, okay, my partner is the quality time person. So she's not so much about gift and, but if you are giving the person gift, you're wondering, I'm doing so much, but I'm not getting, you're not reciprocating mm. because you are communicating wrongly. wrongly. Thank you so much for joining us and for talking about some of these issues. Uh, little things that matter yeah. in relationships. Uh, what little things are you going to be focusing on uh, for this month of love, the month of February? Uh, let us know, use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria. We'll be right back after this.